Hi everyone, welcome to another session for today. The next session, the uh, title is Dicotec, Explore and Compare Dictionaries on the French Wiki Source. Our speaker for this session is uh, Poslovich. The floor is yours. I hope everything's working. I yes. I really hope it does. And I'm trying to set up the screen share. Yes, we can hear you. Okay. So let's get started with the screen share then. A full screen. Authorize. Woof! Yes, we can see your screen as well. Yeah. yeah. Great. <laughs> so um, a few quick things before I start talking. This talk has had many various iterations. Um, and we've had a last minute issue. So it was supposed to be presented by both me, Poslavich, and uh, Yokoi, which is also someone that worked and works on the Dicotec. Um, but he had some last minute issues. So I will be alone tonight to showcase you this thing we've been working on um, together for the past year. So the Dicotec um, is a tool uh, that would that will allow everyone for now it's limited to only people who have an account on wikimedia for technical reasons i will explain um, in a short time uh, this will allow everyone to explore and compare dictionaries on for now the french wiki source but we also plan to expand that out so and it's not working yeah so the decotec what's that um it's a tool that's available on the uh, French wiki source for now. So I just need to get out of the full screen, get back on my computer and show it to you. So it's all written in French. Um, hopefully that won't scare you away. This is a special page, um, not in the meaning, in the technical meaning of media wiki. Um, it's, a, it's a page on the French wiki source, which requires a user script that you need to put into your uh, command uh, to run. And uh, this page allows, allows you to get access to uh, 28 dictionaries that are currently available on the French wiki source. So all of these dictionaries that you can see on the right hand side um, are dictionaries that were uh, worked and entirely transcluded on wiki source. For those who, who don't know um, how Wikisource works, you get um, you get a book, which can be in the form of a PDF or déjà vu file, um, which you then read and um, proofread uh, page by page. So here I have uh, the 28th page of this book. The Dictionnaire Raisonné de l'Architecture Française du 11e au 16e siècle, um, which is a dictionary uh, uh, which is in the public domain. And we then have this page, which comes from the scan. And we then have this page on the left-hand side, which is where we copied and proofread the content of the page. This way, the page gets stored as a text file, which then gets transcluded into the main namespace, um, both uh, per volume, but also per letter. And each and every one of uh, the articles of this dictionary, uh, each one of the, of the entries, then gets transcluded as its own entity. So it, they all get their own subpage um, and this is the main unit that the Decotec works on. And so here we can see um, the entry for accoudoir um, from said dictionary. Uh, so actually, we're going to test that out. We're going to search for 
uh, accoudoir. Hopefully it's going to work, and it does. Um, sadly, it has failed to find the entry from the dictionary I showed you. Um, but what it does is that it searches for every entry um, that is the same um, string, the same word. And so this way you get a side-by-side -side, um, comparison of various dictionaries and how they describe uh, the same thing, um, the same word. Uh, maybe I can check another word. So org, which uh, mostly is a musical instrument, uh, which is called organ in English. Um, I don't remember um, how it's called in German. Um, but so there you have um, the Encyclopédie, which is one of the, uh, which is like the precursor of Wikipedia uh, from the 18th century in France, um, which has a rather long article about org. Um, you also have one that is about orgue de mer, um, mostly um, some kind of um, seashells. And if you go down, because this is a long article, long, 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 you get also an entry uh, for orgueil, which is a, an, a word that has absolutely no um, meaning related to the organ, um, the musical instrument. It's just that the Dicotec works by default by searching uh, anything that starts with what you're quer querying. So if I just say uh, strict research, and just search there, I just get orgueil. Um, so that's basically what it does and how it works. Um, you, you have your list of dictionary uh, that are here, and you then get the ability to filter them by, by date, by publication date. Uh, all of this is based on Wikidata, as well as various filters you can use for uh, the gender of the dictionary. This is mostly about uh, what, it, what it looks like, um, how it's written. Uh, it's a bit complicated to find the definition in English. And you also have, you can also filter by subject. So we have some um, dictionaries that talk about Breton, which is a French regional language. Um, what do we have? Uh, we also have, uh, yeah, we also have here um, selectors, um, particularly for languages. Um, so this is how it works. This is a prototype that I've been working on uh, since almost the beginning, beginning of 2023 um, and haven't touched uh, for about a few months. Uh, but it shows that this is working. Uh, it can work, it can be used. Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, I'm having a bit of trouble finding my words there. Yep, there we go. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> Found a bug. <laughs> Live demo always um, help find bugs. Anyway, so let's get back to presentation. So um, now I would like it to work properly but I don't think it's going to allow me to, to do that. Oh, yes. So what is La Decotheque in a nutshell? Um, this is a search engine and a comparison interface. As I showed you, it allows you to search for words in dictionaries that have been um, transcluded on Wikisource. So uh, for now, it's only the French Wikisource, but that's uh, merely as a proof of concept stage. Um, this idea of having uh, an interface that allows to search through uh, all of these um, dictionaries was proposed in the um, in 2022 by Liu Yokoi uh, at the Wikipedia Convention Francophone. And I started working on it in early 2023. Um, and what's interesting and why we decided to showcase it to you today uh, is mostly because it's um, powered by Wikidata. It makes um, heavy use 
of uh, Wikidata in the way it works. So how does it work? Well, um, how do you add content to it? Because this is mostly where um, all of the Wikidata related stuff happens. So uh, as I said, you first, first start by proofreading uh, dictionaries on a Wikisource, in this case, the French Wikisource, and you transclude them. So you split the pages and publish the pages on the main namespace with the rule that one word, one entry, because um, dictionaries sometimes put multiple words in the same entry. Um, so one entry equals one page, one sub page of the dictionary. This is, um, this is uh, done so in order to allow for easy searching, program, pro programmatic kill uh, searching through all the text that happens uh, that exists for a, for a certain dictionary. Um, then once you have your dictionary transcluded, you create their Wikidata elements, um, like you pretty much always do uh, regarding a book that's transcluded on the Wikisource. So going back again to the Dicotec, you can see here that each dictionary has an edition, uh, edition so edition, version, uh, in English, and a link to the work, the oeuvre, uh, the oeuvre. <laughs> um, so, edition uh, is the Wikidata item for the version of this book. So, uh, the year it was published, um, and the work as well, which also provides generic data about what the book is about, um, what its gender is, uh, what are the main subjects? And you can therefore notice here that this data is what powers the filters. The filters on the Dicotech, so uh, subjects, genders, and um, languages are powered by what's inside the work items for each and every book that we have here in our list. So if I take this dictionary, which is a dictionary of uh, another regional language of France, here you can see that our language of, of the work is French and Lorrain, uh, which is a northeastern uh, regional language uh, in France. And also the th uh, main theme of the, of the book. And therefore, if I uncheck everything and pick Lorrain, the dictionary that's available is said dictionary. So this is where Wikidata um, comes into play with such um, magnificence. <laughs> uh, it really is a practical resource um, when you use it that way. So um, once you have the Wikidata elements, you add the edition QID to the list of dictionaries that the uh, Dicotec works on. And then you just reload the page and it's there. So you can start searching and comparing. That's as simple as that. Um, the most difficult thing, of course, is to proofread and transcribe the dictionaries. Um, it can take days, weeks, months, um, sometimes years. <laughs> I've got the example of one of them. The, the last dictionary I showed you, I've, I'm still working on it. And I've been working on it uh, for about two years already. And it's not entirely done yet. So how does it do its work? I won't dive into all the technical details because it's, as I said, a proof of concept. And I don't want to bother you with all the techno babbage, uh, uh, boring stuff that some of you may not appreciate. Um, but basically, this is a Vue.js app, sort of, um, because it's not, uh, it's using something that's been introduced into MediaWiki in the past uh, few years. So MediaWiki now has Vue.js built in, but in a way that's a bit weird to uh, make use of. It's easier to use it if you're uh, an extension 
but in my case, I am a user script. So I have some really weird stuff to do uh, and make so that it works. Um, so this is mostly because of all this quirky stuff that I won't dive deeper into how it works. But this app then gathers all the information um, about the dictionaries that we have in our list. So this is where it does all the work. Um, it gets the gender, uh, the genre, the uh, languages. Um, it gets also uh, la labels as well. So if we want to translate the, um, the Dicotech into any language, as long as the labels are available, we could technically do so. And this is what's great also with uh, using Wikidata for that. Um, and then it queries the wiki source. So uh, it makes use of Elasticsearch capabilities, um, most notably of Cirrus Search for those who know about this thing. Um, this is the extension that allows you to do some um, magic um, search queries into the wiki source. So um, as an example, in title, um, column, whatever, um, which allows you to check only um, for words or sequence of characters of, of, of chars that are in the title of the page. And I make extensive use of this uh, functionality as well. Uh, so this is really a basic overview of how it integrates into uh, both Wikisource and uh, Wikidata. So what's next? What would happen to La Dicotech? It's, um, as I said, it's a work in progress and it's a proof of concept. Um, and it has done its job as a proof of concept. It showed, uh, it has shown that it is um, possible to do. And we're very happy about that. Um, but we also are um, a bit um, limited in what we can do due to all the technical quirks. So um, we obviously want to go international. Uh, having it in French, uh, with French dictionaries is interesting because um, with 28 dictionaries, with the 28 that we have now, we are um, one of the, if not the most um, extensive um, dictionary search engine um, that exists today. We have the CNRTL, uh, which is a laboratory um, a collection of tools made by a French laboratory, um, which has a tool that provides um, search capabilities in seven dictionaries. Uh, we also have the Dictionnaire des Francophones, which allows searching through eight or nine. But the Dicotech, which is entirely powered by um, Wikisource, uh, so by volunteers um, that have worked on dictionaries of any kind uh, for a few years, uh, now has 28 dictionaries, and this is up and counting. Um, so it really will be able to um, get extremely large, extremely quick, um, given the nature of and the collaborative nature of Wikisource and the Wikimedian movement. So either we natively support all the Wikisources, so we um, we develop and um, deploy a Dicotech um, on all the wiki sources that exist, or we find one place to bring them all and in the lightness bind them. Uh, so maybe have a dedicated website. I have absolutely no clue there. Um, obviously, if we want to go international, we have to translate the interface, um, which is already quite easily done and doable thanks to Wikidata labels uh, being internationalized. And of course, um, if we want the Dicotech to grow bigger, we will um, need to have uh, more dictionaries in all the languages of the world. So that's about it, uh, about the Dicotech. Uh, thank you 
for your attention. You can get in touch with us. So with me, um, with the same mail address, I will be um, checking in quite often, um, especially if it's about if it's to talk about the Deco tech or maybe the technical aspect of things. Um, Yokoi is, can also be um, contacted with this email address. And if you want to, uh, there's a um, Git repository that's available on the Wikimedia GitLab, uh, where you can find the code that's not um, web packed, because uh, the code that's currently deployed on the French Wiki source is web packed to ensure it is um, more compact, because <laughs> uh, the, the app is getting quite uh, heavy right now. So yeah, thank you for your attention. And I hope uh, I have given you satisfaction with this talk. Whoops, May. <laughs> thank you, Postlovich. Um, anyone has any question, please feel free to press the uh, hand raise button that you see uh, next to the, no, on the smiley face uh, uh, option. Otherwise, you can also just uh, type in your question in the chat and I can read it out. Uh, then we can all hear. Does anyone has uh, any question? I have a bit of trouble hearing you. Um, can you hear me? Yeah, this fine. All right, great. Sorry. So, uh, does anyone has any question? Please feel free to raise your hands, or uh, you can also type your question in the chat uh, as well. Just let me look into the chat section. <clears throat> okay, so I have seen a few things. So, of course, uh, the German for organ is orgel, orgel, orgel. My German is quite ancient. Um, blah, blah, blah. The work genre in agenda. Yeah, sorry, Vigneron. Um, being able to search all the dictionaries would be amazing. Of course, Nikki, it would. Um, and this is why um, this idea has been proposed. And I've sort of jumped into the idea by starting to make it uh, a reality. Um, uh, getting it out of the... Um, Idea realm and turning it into and turning it into a reality. Theo, English is hard tonight. <laughs> um, uh, where to put this kind of services? Should they be on Toolforge? Um, honestly, Toolforge is a very very powerful um, tool at our disposal, and they could. They absolutely could be on Toolforge. Uh, the main issue with Toolforge being that this is not natively um, on site. Um, what I mean with this is that um, uh, things that are on Toolforge are mostly um, used by contributors um, of Wikimedia uh, wikis and not by um, viewers of said website, um, which is why uh, it, this is more like an identity issue uh, of having it uh, available on Toolforge because it wouldn't be as visible as um, um, as um, uh, uh, I've lost my, my, my sentence. Um, it wouldn't have the same visibility, um, uh, the same outreach as uh, the things on um, uh, on Wikisource. Right now, we have a page on the French Wikisource, which is Wikisource uh, colon Dicotech, um, which may not be the most visible, but it's way more visible than Eto Forge. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, of course. I don't really know because uh, I'm not that much of a techie pro. Um, I remember you can do some redirection. But yeah, having it run on, on Toolforge will also allow some sort of um, caching of the data because right now it, it fetches everything every, all the time 
which is a bit of an issue if you use it on your phone on mobile data plan. Uh, but yeah, as a proof of concept, it works. Uh, it needs some polishing, of course. But yeah, maybe this should be on Torforge. That's a very good proposal. I, I, yeah, sorry, Vigneron. <laughs> Sometimes, um, I actually doesn't use the Wikidata query service. It uses um, basic, uh, it, it does the queries on the uh, entity data or whatever endpoint that is, uh, the one that just gives you the uh, entity data for, uh, uh, say, the UI. Um, this German dictionary in the Gershwick source, which will be sent to be split by page. Oh, that's interesting, Nikki. Yeah, that's what I thought, Tuka, because uh, as we commit your fast, we, we have a service that's on the tool forge, um, but we just do a text DNS redir uh, redirection. We just redirect to the tool forge name, uh, but it does not have the actual DNS then. Yeah, interesting. I'm a bit sad that Yoko isn't here with us because you all brought out some interesting ideas. Just going to get that thing into my notepad. So I don't forget about it. Very, very interesting. Um, OK. I think there's no further question. Yep. If uh, I'm if you want to have a conversation with you later on, please feel free to uh, come off the stage and then they can all come near you with their, with their avatar. Yeah, of course. Uh, thank you for listening again. And um, as I said, I'm available um, under the same username on Wikimedia. And uh, if you want mails, uh, you can contact me by mail. So yeah, thank you for your time and your listening. It was a pleasure. Thank you for your session as well. Um, yes. Bye. Bye. So um, we have another about uh, 15 minutes break before the next session. Wiki functions fulfilling one of Wikidata's missing promises uh, by uh, Danny. So it will be about, uh, I think, 15, slightly more than 15 minutes break. So I hope to see everyone again uh, later for the next session. So thank you.